What's happening people? Welcome back to my real life car builds in GTA 5. In this episode we're going to be creating a Lexus LFA Nürburgring edition out of the new ETR1. Now as you probably know the Lexus LFA is a hypercar built by Lexus and not only is it the fastest car that Lexus has ever built it's also the most expensive. Now of course we're not just going to build the standard LFA in this episode I thought we would build the Nürburgring package and this was a more competition focused variant of the original LFA. This variant was not only faster but also more expensive than the regular LFA making it one of the most expensive if not the most expensive Japanese road car ever built. On top of all the modifications which made this variant faster, buyers also received training at the Nürburgring as well as a one year pass to the track. And just for reference, this car set the 10th fastest time ever for a production vehicle at the Nürburgring. Now there was a couple of colours available, there was glossy black, matte black, race yellow and white. And they only produced 50 of this particular variant making it quite rare. Now in terms of performance, this car has a 4.8 litre V10 which gives it roughly 560 horsepower. And this is about 10 horsepower over the base model. Top speed is around 325 kilometers an hour or 202 miles per hour. And it will do 0 to 100 or 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. Now as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the closest car that we have in game is the new Emperor ETR1. Anyway, once you've got your hands on an ETR1, we're going to roll it into Los Santos Customs. Now because the car has a big wide body kit on it, I thought we would do a hybrid build, so somewhere in between the Nürburgring package and the race car. And in terms of the colour scheme, I thought of all the factory colours that are available, I think we'll go for a yellow one. Anyway, the first thing that we're going to do is go under bumpers and we're going to choose canids and intercooler for the front and the tow hook for the rear. For the exhaust, which is that little side exit on the left hand side, I've just gone for titanium. For the hood, there's a carbon option, which is a nice little nod to its racing pedigree, so we're going to stick that on. For the livery, we're going to take this off. For the mirrors, there's a couple of different options, but so that we match the hood, we're going to go for carbon. Now under spoiler, there's a couple of different options again. I've just gone for stock, but the GT wing is also a good choice if you want the wing to match the body color. Now wheels was kind of difficult. The rims that come with it are pretty unique and I like them a lot, but it doesn't match the color scheme that we're going to go with. So I've decided to go for Cosmo, which are listed under sport. And for the wheel color, I'm going to go with yellow. I think if we chose a neutral color like black, then the stock rims that are on it would actually look quite good. But for the primary colour we are going to choose yellow which is listed under classic and for the secondary colour I've gone for matte black and this is going to colour the trim, roll cage and brake calipers. Of course we're going to slam the suspension and we're going to max out all the other performance upgrades and there you have it, a Lexus LFA. I was actually pleasantly surprised by this car. When I first saw the pictures of it, I kind of assumed that there wouldn't be too many things that you could modify, but there's quite a few options, which makes it a very nice car to play around with. It certainly is fast. It's definitely not the fastest car in the game, but it has nice sticky handling, which is a good compromise. And it's also got a pretty satisfying engine note. Anyway, as usual, I've stuck all my customization options in the description field so you can go ahead and build your own LFA. But other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this build and I'm out.